So I have my HTC One M9 here and my HTC One A9 here. And what I'm going to do is, well, first I ran a battery test, and then I'm going to tell you a bit about that. Then after that, I'm going to run a Geekbench uh, benchmark test, and I'm going to run it three times because you know every time you run it, you get a different score. And each time I run it, I'm going to put the scores on the side here. So first thing is let's start off with uh, battery testing. Okay, so. I tested the battery using the uh, Geekbench 3 battery runtime, and you can see my um, my M9 here. I ran it from 99% to 3%, and on my A9 from 100% to 0%. So on here, so you figure I got about three hours here, but I still have double the time with my A9. Okay, I got almost six and a half hours, and this is with the uh, my display light on so it was basically on the whole entire time when this thing ran now in the real world it's actually a little bit different okay now what I got was me being a full-time user for both these phones with my M9 I get literally I get like 10 hours I'm not a happy camper with 10 hours and on my A9 I'm quite impressed I get 14 hours now just to give you like another example if um, I you know I use my iPhone 6s uh, full time as well, and I get 11 hours on there. So I get 10 hours on here, 11 hours on my iPhone 6s, and I get 14 hours on my A9. And you can see, let me go to my benchmark here, and you can see here my A9, M9, I got 5.1 here, I got Android 6.0 here, I have the uh, Snapdragon 810 here. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it, and each time I, it scores, I'm going to put the um, scores on the side of the video here, and of course I'm, I'm going to fast forward through all the uh, boring parts. Okay, so here we have the scores, and look at that, the M9 scored higher in single and multi-core. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again, so I'm going to click on back, back. Wow, can you believe it? The M9 beat it in single and multi-core again. Let me go, and go back and click on uh, run it again. I'll run it for the last time, the third time here. Okay, well there we have it again. Uh, the uh, M9 obviously beats the A9 in single core and multi-core every single time. But uh, my preference, if I had to get one of these phones, it would definitely be the A9. Even if I had to pay a couple hundred dollars more because of the battery life, uh, it seems like it's uh, it runs smoother than the M8. And uh, one of the biggest things for me is camera. The camera is pretty good on the A9. However, on the M8, I mean, I'm having so much difficulty. It's so, much, it's so frustrating with the camera. You know, I mean, I, I didn't purchase these phones you know, to, you know, use like a DSLR, I purchased these phones because I wanted a good uh, point and shoot camera. You know, every time I take a shot, I want to do it fast and I want the pictures to be good. I don't want to have to fiddle around with all the buttons and stuff like that. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You know, if you guys can comment, give me your uh, suggestions and your comments between these two phones. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.